Hello and welcome back. It's hard to believe that this is the last country that we will be studying for the 2020-2021 school year. So far this year, if you've followed our travels, we have gone to Brazil. We have visited Italy. We just finished up an awesome study of Japan. And now we are off to the beautiful African country of Morocco. In today's lesson, you will be introduced to the beauty that is Morocco. Where in the world is Morocco? Well, I'm glad you asked. Hold on tight, here we go. Morocco is located in the northwest corner of Africa, and it is bordered by the North Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. Algeria and Western Sahara are the land borders to the sea for the south and the east. Morocco is about the same size as California. The high Atlas Mountains separate the mild coastline from the harsh Sahara Desert. Rainfall is very unpredictable, and it is not enough to supply all the water needed for the people. Here's a few fun fast facts for you. The Dra River is the longest river in Morocco. Take a look at the beautiful Atlas Mountains. The highest peak is 4,167 meters, Tubkal, which lies within Morocco's Tubkal National Park. When most people think of Morocco, one of the first things that comes to mind is the desert. This is definitely not all that Morocco has to offer. Yes, it is bordered by the Sahara Desert, but take a look at some of the other beautiful things that you can find in Morocco. As you can see, there's a little bit of everything from ocean to mountains, to desert, to big cities that look just like the cities that we have here in the United States. I cannot wait for you to see some of the other amazing things that this beautiful country has to offer. Let's take a quick break and look at the page that you will be adding to your Global Studies book. Now, if you do not have your Global Studies book that this week, that's okay. Your books will be ready for pickup from your classroom teacher or in the elementary front office after spring break. I will be building these books over break so that they are all ready through the end of the school year. You are always welcome to print out the materials on your own at home, but if you can wait until next week, they will all be done for you. So I want you to look for the location marker. Do you see it? Yep, there it is. Can you color Morocco red? And then let's color the rest of Africa yellow so that it stands out really well. One of my favorite things about Morocco and Africa is that it's really easy to find. The reason it's easy to find is it looks like an elephant's ear. Do you see the shape of Africa? It's quite easy to find on a map because it looks like an African elephant's ear. Once you are done coloring your map, go ahead and put your crayons aside. We're not gonna color the flag just yet. We need to learn a little bit more about it before we can add the colors. Morocco is one of the only three kingdoms that is left on the continent of Africa. The others are Lesotho and Swaziland. These are both small and Southern African countries. A kingdom means that there is a monarch or one ruler, a king that rules over the entire landmass. The current king of Morocco is King Mohammed VI. He became the crowned king in 1999 and has been the ruler ever since. One of the most recognizable symbols for each country is their flag and Morocco sure has a pretty recognizable flag. The red background of the Moroccan flag represents hardiness, bravery, strength, and valor, while the green represents love, joy, wisdom, 
peace and hope. Those are some pretty great words. The Kingdom of Morocco adopted its national flag and state ensign on November 17th in 1915. But when Morocco fell under the control of the French and Spanish colonizers, the flag was only allowed to be used inland. Its use at sea was absolutely prohibited, which means they weren't allowed to use it. After they regained their independence in 1955, Morocco restored its national flag, and it has looked like this ever since. This five-pointed green star on a beautiful red background is now the symbol that we recognize as the flag of Morocco. Now let's go back and actually color this flag of Morocco. Now that you know what the colors mean, color in the background of the flag red and color in the green star. Can you remember what does the red stand for? And what does the green stand for? You got it. These are some pretty great characteristics. Let's take a look at another fast fact for Morocco. So, the Moroccan money is officially called the Moroccan Durham. The high stone Moroccan Durham is subdivided into 100 centimes. That sounds familiar. It reminds me of the American dollar that is separated into 100 cents. Speaking of the United States dollar, as of the day that this video was recorded, one Morocco Durham was the same as about 11 cents in the United States. Another fun fact is that Morocco's capital city is not the one that it is most famously known for. Rather, the capital city is Rabat. This is known for its landmarks that speak to its Islamic and French colonial heritage. Because of Morocco's location, it has many influences from Spain, France, as well as some of the African culture that has also shown its way into the architecture. And our last fast fact for today will lead us into the next lesson that you will have as soon as we get back from spring break. So what is the official language of Morocco? Well, that's kind of tricky because there are actually a couple of official languages. Arabic is the language that most people in Morocco speak, but there are also some dialects of Berber spoken, especially in the mountainous regions, and many people also speak French inside of Morocco. Below this video that you're currently watching, there is a really awesome drone footage that I would love for you to watch. This is a flyover of the beautiful city of Marrakesh, Morocco. This will give you a pretty good indication that Morocco is not all desert. It is a pretty good, cool view of a beautiful city. Well, that's it. That wraps up lesson one for our journey to Morocco. I am super excited to really jump in next time and get to know a little bit more about the Arabic language. So join us on March 29th for our next lesson where we will learn how to count from one to 10 in Moroccan Arabic. See you soon, guys. Bye.